Hi, I'm Joan with Lazy Girl Designs, and today I'd like to introduce you to the Lazy Angle Ruler. The Lazy Angle block is composed of two pieces, A, the large part, and B, the small part. The Lazy Angle itself runs from the corner to the center of the side when sewn into your finished quilt project. Cutting using the Lazy Angle Ruler is very simple. Cut the size strip you need based on the size block you want. So for a four and a half inch unfinished block, we'll cut a four and a half inch strip. Then we'll use the ruler to trim our strip so we have a good start. And it's a very efficient cut. This is all we're gonna lose off of that strip. For the first cut, we have a, a squared edge to the strip, so we need an angled cut. We're gonna find the four and a half inch mark on the tool that matches what our fabric is doing. So here we've lined up four and a half on the ruler with the edges of the four and a half inch strip. And simply cut along the angled edge for our first two A pieces. We're working with a folded piece of fabric, so we have two mirror imaged A pieces at four and a half. Now we're gonna follow the edge of the strip again and find the image on the tool simply by rotating that matches what the edge of our fabric is doing. And we're gonna follow the marks at four and a half on the square side of the tool to cut again for another A piece. And there's no waste from cut to cut because we can cut both shapes, A and B, on both edges of the ruler, working down our strip from cut to cut with no waste in between. Cutting for the B piece is similar to cutting for the A piece. We have a square edge to our fabric, so we're gonna find this image on our ruler that relates to the B piece. So we're on the angled edge of the tool. Here's where we were for our first cut for the A, matching the four and a half on the ruler with the four and a half inch strip. For the B piece, we're gonna follow this one line top to bottom on the ruler and simply move the ruler over until that matches the edge of our strip. So both the A and B pieces can be cut on each edge of the ruler, allowing for no waste from cut to cut. For our next B cut, we have an angled edge, so we need to flip the ruler over and find the image on the square edge of the tool that matches what our fabric is doing. So here we are at the four and a half inch mark, matching the top edge, angled edge, and bottom edges of our fabric, and we're ready to cut for another B piece. And what's under the tool is our next identical B piece. This method allows us to cut all of the A and B pieces we need uh, from any fabric combination. So if we have a quilt design which only needs A from one fabric and B from another, we can cut just the pieces we need without any waste from cut to cut.